Good morning, my name is Federico Anselmi. I'm one of the sales managers in Frog Group, and um, I will describe to you today briefly a complete plant for the production of spreadable cheese, labne type or cream cheese. The plant is composed of five main sections. I'm going to explain you briefly. First section is the milk reconstitution and fat melting section. Then we have the pasteurization, the fermentation section, the final addition with uh, thickeners or stabilizers, and the last one is the buffering before filling. We are talking about a plant which is able to produce around 20,000 liters per day and is a plant that works in a full automatic mode. Full automatic means that every part of the panel has its own PLC with touchscreen, where the operator can manage all important parameters. Of course, some manual operations are required. It's just adding the power or adding the butter blocks. But the rest of the process and the entire transformation part is managed by the PLCs. In this first section, uh, milk powder is added uh, with water and kept in temperature in recirculation with the tanks. As we know, this is very important because it's the first part of, of the process. And in this part, the customer has uh, the right concentration and the right uh, dimensioning of all the parameters of milk. In this other section, which works at the same time, we can melt the butter in order to have liquid fats added to the mixture. This first part is very important because what we will mix here is the right volume and the right percentage of components that we will drive to the pasteurization and homogenization step. When we move to the pasteurizer and homogenizer phase, we have already the complete mixture of milk and fats. What we do is the thermal treatment in order to avoid bacteria and infection. After this step, we can move to the fermentation part. The fermentation part is composed of four tanks of 5,000 liters each. This means that the total production per day is around 20,000 liters. In every tank, what happens? The milk, which is being pasteurized and homogenized, is added with fermenters in order to obtain the cheese. So, inside the tank, which are thermoregulated, we have the complete fermentation process. This phase is very important because uh, the process is controlled by the PLC, but the presence of the operator is anyway required. After the fermentation, we move to the final step where the milk, which is already produced, is added with minor ingredients, which are mostly thickeners, stabilizers, or any additional ingredients that guarantee a correct form and maintenance before the filling. This part is made by two tanks of uh, 2,500 liters and a final buffer where the cheese is stored, waiting to be transferred to the filler. What you see here is the exact reproduction of the layout that will be installed in customer premises. This is very important and this is a, let's say, a distinctive factor in Frau Group because we install and test the equipment respecting the exact dimensioning that we have in customer facility. This is done because we have the opportunity to optimize the product transfer lines and mostly CIP delivery and return lines. The entire plant is served by a full automatic CIP with two lines and five tanks of 3,000 liters each. This is very important and it's always uh, quite an issue for many manufacturers because uh, sanification and cleaning of every equipment uh, is uh, a very delicate phase. The plant that we have described uh, is able to produce around 20,000 liters per day. This plant is uh, designed uh, in order to work uh, full automatic. Uh, of course, this means that in some steps the presence of the operator is uh, required uh, just for the monitoring or to make uh, some small direct actions on the machine. Anyway, this equipment is uh, completely remotable. 
This means that for maintenance purposes or for commissioning support, Frau Group is able to control and supervise from the company the entire production process from the beginning to the end. Let me thank you for paying attention to my description. Uh, please do not hesitate to contact Frau for uh, information or further details uh, and uh, see you soon to the next video.